To create our abstract painting today, inspired by Sonia Delaunay, we're gonna flip our canvas over and we're gonna begin by writing our name on the back. So I'm gonna get out a Sharpie to write my name and I'm just gonna write it down here. And I'm also gonna write today's date. 6, 28, 22, or you could write June 28, 2022. Either one of those will work. I'm gonna be using a variety of found objects to create some geometric shapes on my work. Primarily circles, because there are lots of circles and semicircles in her work. So I'm gonna get out a shape to start with. Maybe I start with a circle here and I'm gonna create with my pencil a, a curve on the inside and maybe I even go on the outside of my thing. I've got that. Maybe even some of my circles hang off of the edge. So I'm gonna do a big circle here and the plate's gonna hang off the edge so you only see part of it. Maybe I even add another shape besides a um, circle, maybe I create a triangle. I'm gonna create a triangle over here. Notice I'm trying to fill up my space. So if I have open space, I'm thinking about how I can add something to it. So this is a good spot for a shape up here. Maybe I even create some Maybe I create some overlapping, some circles that overlap. I think it's kind of cool to see these new shapes that form from the overlapping. Next, I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm going to draw maybe two lines through my work. Now you'll notice in these artworks, you're gonna see some different kinds of lines that go through the shapes. So in this one, I see a diagonal line and another diagonal line and another diagonal line. In this one, I see a vertical line. So you get to decide, are you gonna create a vertical line, a diagonal line, or a horizontal line? I wanna do a vertical line, and I wanna cut these circles right in half, because I think that would look cool. So that's one. I think I'm gonna make another diagonal through this part of my work. And it's only gonna go through some of my page. I don't want it to go all the way through, so I'm gonna have to do it there. And I'm gonna do one more diagonal here. Actually, I kinda do want this to go all the way through. Okay, not too many lines, otherwise it will be, there will be a lot for us to paint and we don't want to have an unfinished work of art. Next is time to get started on our painting. I'm gonna choose a color scheme. So I'm gonna choose anywhere from three, one, two, three to five colors that I think go nicely together. 
So I'm going to pour out a little bit of the paint that I want on my tray. Use purple. Blue. different brushes. I've got a thin brush and a thick brush. Thick brushes will be good for bigger areas and the thin brush is going to be good for the smaller areas. I think I'm going to start with my smaller areas first and I'm going to pick one of my colors and I'm going to paint in a shape. Now we don't want any of the shapes that touch to be the same color. So since I painted this shape green, I don't want to paint that shape green or that shape green or that shape green. Those are going to be different colors. Now I'm going to just hop around on my canvas and I'm going to keep using green a few more times. When I'm painting, I'm trying to stay inside of my lines and I'm trying to paint with plenty of paint. I like to outline my shape first and then I paint the inside. All right, I'm gonna to switch to a new color now. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna rinse it in my cup up the side and give it a little dab on the sponge so that it's not super wet. Then I'm going to repeat with my next color. Same thing. Taking new shapes and filling them in. As you can see, I'm now painting some of these big background shapes. So I have switched to my bigger brush and this all this white space is all going to be red. So I like to start by outlining all the parts that are going to be red with my flat brush, making sure that I'm going nice and slow when I'm going around these edges. I don't accidentally want to paint over parts of my shape. Around the square. And then I can, oh, and this green square. And after I've done that, it'll be easier for me to paint in all of the white spots like so. Okay, so that's red. This needs to be a different color, but I think I can paint this part red too. So I'm gonna do the same thing paint around my shapes with my brush first and if it's a little bit tight I can kind of tilt it back up on its tall edge all right now that it is painted I'm gonna go back in with a skinny brush and I'm gonna add some designs maybe some outlines I'm gonna paint some stripes on parts of my design I like using the black because it shows up so well. Maybe I create some dots. And I'm gonna outline.
our break and come back, our painting will be fairly dry and we'll be able to add some additional elements if you choose. So you could use some stickers and put some stickers on top. I think I'm gonna add some um, circles here to fill up that space. And maybe some of these little tiny ones too. Also going to check out some of these things that can create a little bit of texture. So like this, I think I'm gonna cut this and put it right over here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back and glue it in place. Let's see. I'm gonna cut some little squares. 